complete evolution of Sarcosuchus. Ancestors of Sarcosuchus Evolutionary path from ancient archosaurs to super crocodile. Sarcosuchus is the impressive result of a long and complex evolutionary history that began more than 200 million years ago. To understand where this giant came from, you need to trace its ancestry, starting with the earliest representatives of archosaurs, ancient relatives of crocodiles. Let's look at the key ancestors of Sarcosuchus and their evolutionary path. Archosaurs, the beginning of history. Archosaurs, or ruling lizards, are a group of diapsid reptiles that arose during the late Permian and early Triassic periods, about 250 million years ago. They were the common ancestors of both dinosaurs and crocodiles. Unlike older reptiles, archosaurs had a number of adaptations, such as improved quadrupedal locomotion and a more complex respiratory system. One of the distinctive features of archosaurs was the structure of the skull with the presence of an antorbital fenestra and additional opening in front of the eyes. This lightened the weight of the skull and may have played a role in regulating brain temperature. The ancestors of Sarcosuchus were a branch of this vast group, which split into two lineages. One lineage leading to dinosaurs and birds, and the other to crocodilomorphs. Protocrocodilomorphs, first steps towards Sarcosuchus. Some of the earliest crocodilomorphs, such as Protosuchia, appeared in the late Triassic, about 210 million years ago. These reptiles were much smaller and less aquatic than modern crocodiles. They were more like fast land predators with long hind limbs and a relatively short body. Protosuchians were only about one meter long and probably hunted small animals. Their snouts were narrower and their teeth more varied, indicating a wide range of diets. They lived primarily on land, although they could spend part of their time in the water. These early crocodilomorphs did not have the specialized features of Sarcosuchus, but they laid the foundation for later evolution into giant aquatic predators. Mesosuchia and Notosuchia Transition to an aquatic lifestyle during the Jurassic period, about 200 million years ago, crocodilomorphs began to adapt to an aquatic environment. Mesosuchia and Notosuchia are two important groups of crocodilomorphs of the time that made significant contributions to the evolution of aquatic crocodiles. Mesosuchians were among the first crocodiles to adapt to life in water. Their bodies became more streamlined, and their limbs became shorter and stronger, making them excellent swimmers. Unlike their terrestrial ancestors, Mesosuchians had nostrils located closer to the top of their heads, which allowed them to breathe while remaining almost completely submerged in water. Notosuchus they were a diverse group, including both aquatic and semi-aquatic forms, some members of this group, such as Simosuchus, had very unusual appearances, with short snouts and teeth indicating an omnivorous diet. They likely occupied unique ecological niches in their habitats. Telecrocodilomorphs, immediate ancestors of Sarcosuchus. By the mid-Cretaceous period, about 130 million years ago, crocodilomorphs began to appear which may have been Sarcosuchus's closest relatives. Thalatosuchia were a group of crocodilomorphs that included both marine and freshwater forms. They had more elongated and narrow skulls, and their bodies were well adapted for swimming. 
These reptiles were predators that hunted fish and other marine life. Some members of this group, such as the Geosaurus, Geosaurus, had jaws reminiscent of those of modern gharials, indicating their adaptation to catching slippery prey. Geosaurus is a genus of marine crocodilomorphs that lived during the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous periods, approximately 150 million years ago. They belonged to the group the Latisuchia and were well adapted to life in the sea. Geosaurus had a streamlined body, short limbs, and a powerful tail, reminiscent of the tail of modern marine animals, which made them excellent swimmers. One of the most noticeable features of Geosaurus was their narrow, elongated jaws, equipped with sharp teeth. This morphology indicates specialization in hunting fish and other marine life. Despite their similarities to modern gharials, geosaurs were more active marine predators and were likely higher up in their food chain. Phalodosaurus, Prototypes of Giants Among the ancestors of Sarcosuchus, Phalodosauridae deserve special attention. They were among the largest and most unique crocodilomorphs that lived during the late Cretaceous period. Phalodosaurs reached lengths of about 30 feet and had long, narrow jaws full of sharp teeth. These reptiles lived in rivers and lakes, hunting fish and possibly other aquatic animals. Morphologically, Phalodosaurs were very similar to Sarcosuchus, especially their skulls and jaw structure. Scientists believe that Sarcosuchus was likely closely related to this group possibly being a direct descendant of one of their representatives. The appearance of Sarcosuchus, the crown of evolution. Sarcosuchus appeared about 130 million years ago and was the result of millions of years of crocodilomorph evolution. It combines the best adaptations of its ancestors. Giant size, powerful jaws, streamlined body, and the ability to hunt large prey. These traits made Sarcosuchus one of the most formidable predators of its time. Conclusion, the evolutionary path to Gigantu. The evolution of Sarcosuchus is a story of adaptation that began with the first archosaurs and progressed through many stages. Its ancestors, from terrestrial crocodilomorphs to specialized aquatic predators, represented a diversity of forms and survival strategies. This complex evolutionary chain led to the emergence of Sarcosuchus, one of the largest and most powerful crocodiles to ever exist on Earth. Sarcosuchus, also known as the Super Crocodile, was one of the largest crocodilomorphs to exist on Earth. This prehistoric giant lived about 110 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, and reached impressive sizes, surpassing most modern crocodiles. The appearance of Sarcosuchus was noted in the Cretaceous period, approximately 130 million years ago. He lived in regions that are now the territory of the Sahara. At that time, this region was covered with vast rivers and swamps, creating ideal conditions for the life of large aquatic predators. Sarcosuchus was notable for its enormous size. Adults could reach lengths of up to 39 feet and weigh about 8 tons. Its skull reached almost 2 meters in length, and its jaws were equipped with sharp teeth that could bite through even the thick skin of dinosaurs. Anatomical Features of Sarcosuchus One of the most noticeable features of Sarcosuchus is its huge skull. This skull was long and narrow, allowing it to quickly slam its mouth shut on prey. Interestingly, Sarcosuchus had a kind of bone hump at the tip of its snout. 
Scientists believe that this hump could be used to enhance the sense of smell or for communication between individuals, possibly during mating season. Another feature of Sarcosuchus was its teeth. They were cone-shaped and very strong, allowing this predator to cope with the toughest prey, including armored dinosaurs and large fish. The remains of Sarcosuchus also show that it had powerful neck and jaw muscles needed to hold and tear apart large prey. Food and Hunting Sarcosuchus was the apex predator in its ecosystem. Its diet included both fish and land animals, including dinosaurs that came to drink. Thanks to its enormous size, Sarcosuchus could wait for prey near the shore, remaining almost invisible. When the prey got close enough, it lunged forward, capturing the prey with its powerful jaws. Sarcosuchus likely used a hunting strategy similar to modern crocodile hunting, but with much greater force and scale. Sarcosuchus and its habitat during the Cretaceous period, when Sarcosuchus lived, the territory of modern Sahara was covered with dense forests, rivers, and swamps. It was a rich and varied world, home to various dinosaurs, fish, and other reptiles. Sarcosuchus played an important role in this ecosystem, maintaining the balance of fish and land animal populations. Its presence near bodies of water influenced the behavior of other species, causing them to be more cautious. Disappearance of Sarcosuchus Despite its remarkable adaptations, Sarcosuchus disappeared approximately 110 million years ago. The main reason for its extinction is considered to be climate and habitat change. The rivers and swamps in which he lived began to dry up which led to the disappearance of his usual environment and food sources. Along with it, many species of animals dependent on the same ecosystem disappeared. However, some features of Sarcosuchus and other crocodilomorphs have survived millions of years and are present in modern crocodiles. The Legacy of Sarcosuchus Sarcosuchus left behind an amazing legacy. It is one of the most impressive examples of how reptiles could have evolved to become dominant predators in their ecosystems. Modern crocodiles have inherited many traits from their ancient ancestors, including an efficient way of hunting and the ability to adapt to different conditions. Although Sarcosuchus is extinct, its existence helps us understand how ecosystems and predators have changed over millions of years. Conclusion, Sarcosuchus is part of evolutionary history. Studying Sarcosuchus provides scientists with valuable information about the evolution of crocodile-like reptiles and ecosystems of the ancient world. This giant predator represents one of the extreme examples of how reptiles could adapt to their conditions and become some of the most dangerous creatures of their time. Today, when we look at modern crocodiles, we can imagine how their ancient ancestors, such as Sarcosuchus, hunted in the waters of ancient rivers, setting their own rules in the prehistoric world. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.